there everyone, welcome back to Geekin' Out, I'm yours, truly the Nate Meister, and this time I'm showing off everything I got. I didn't know I was gonna purchase all this, you can already tell like everything I have. It was a lot of fun this month, it was like hunting galore, trying to get all the 40th anniversary figures that, that I can. Some of the exclusive pops like the Qui-Gon Jinn pop and the Luke Hooded pop that were sought after by collectors. Oh my god, so let's get right into my collection collection that I have today. Oh my god, yes. I also purchased this nice little Funko plush with a Tuscan Raider on the Wampa. That was pretty cool, but it's pretty cute. Oh my god, it's so cute and cuddly. Oh, and I managed to get the R2D2, the one that you control with your phone app. That was pretty cool. It also lights up, makes sounds and everything. This is a $100 R2D2, and I got it for $30 at Walmart, my local Walmart, and uh, they had it for 45 last week, a couple weeks ago, and then I came out again, and I found it for 30 It's like, there was no way I was gonna lose this deal. Oh, and I managed to get this. Yes, the Star Destroyer. Ah, and it lights up too in the back. Yeah, it's a snap figure model kit. It also has lights and sound. Yes, but I can't wait to build this and put it up here with the rest of my collection. Ah. <laughs> oh, and you guys know I love Boba Fett, so I couldn't resist buying some Boba Fett products. I bought two Proto Boba Fetts and a die-cast Boba Fett from the Disney store. I had to get that one. I love that one. And I bought Jango Fett. I was so lucky to get Jango Fett because I went to Walgreens and there he was just sitting there. I was like, yes! Oh, and I bought one of the Boba Fett decorative uh, lights for the walls. And it, it's pretty much half the helmet and you put it on the wall and he looks like he's coming out of it. Also, this Boba Fett artwork signed by Jeremy Bullock, the original Boba Fett. I'm not sure if this is real because I just went to a thrift store and purchased it because it was like what ten dollars. Oh, and everyone, I can't wait to do this unboxing. Oh my God, yes, the 40th anniversary Star Wars Smuggler Bounty subscription box of May. Oh my God, dude, and this box is so big. And I've been looking at pictures of different uh, unboxings for this. Like it's hard for me to not look at those because they always pop up in the feed. I'm like, damn it, but. I definitely want to do the unboxing for this because there's some cool goodies in here and I just can't wait to unbox it. Oh my god, I got so many things this month, but the one thing I purchased that I'm so excited to unveil to you guys. Finally, I got my own Dark Revan. Now, th there's been word going around that this figure was going to be restocked at the price of $20. And I didn't want to purchase it for 30 I didn't want to purchase it for 40 or 50 like Amazon or eBay were doing it. I really wanted to purchase it just the regular price. I stayed awake one night and it popped up on my feed. Tony, I finally got it, Tony. Yo, I found a club, Tony. I found a freaking club, Tony. I got, finally got it. Oh my god. I've been so lucky this month with figures and pops as well. But the one thing I found failed to get the one thing that escaped my grasp i was this close this freaking close i failed in achieving the complete collection of wave one star wars 40th anniversary luke skywalker pilot so right after the star wars 40th anniversary event they sold them online at the hasbrostore.com and i was this close 15 minutes in I was putting my numbers. I clicked on it and it said insufficient quantity. I was like, no! no! I pretty much have all of Wave 1 except for Oma Kenobi and Leia, which you can get easily. 
But everyone else, I got the hard stuff. But unfortunately, I missed out on the Star Wars 40th Anniversary Luke Skywalker. Oh, I'm so close. And I could have gotten it for $55. But I was like, nah, nah, I can wait. I can wait. Nope. Now it's up to $200. $150. $200. Ah, whatever. Pretty much, guys, let me update you what's going on for the next few months. Especially the summer of 2017. Uh, right now, I'm working on my movie reviews, of course. I uh, definitely want to try and work on the Wonder Woman that's coming out pretty soon. And also, Coffee with Killers, how things are going. And yes, everything's going fine with Coffee with Killers. Just that we're still working on the audio portion of uh, the episode. And everything is fine, though. Everything is done once the audio portion is complete. And then we finally can release it to you guys to watch on YouTube. Stay tuned for Star Wars Coffee with Killers. And if you like what you see you want to see more, click that like and subscribe for me. Other than that, everyone, thank you for chains out and geeking out. I'm yours truly, Dave Meisner. May the hope and dreams be with you. Always.